let's talk about structured data, and in particular, database services. Databases, of course, are one of the most important workloads for customers across private clouds and public clouds. In a recent IDC survey, more than 60% of CIOs said that they would prefer to have common tooling for the database management across private and public clouds, but only about a quarter of them actually had the capability to do so. That's the problem that our ERA product seeks to address. As our CEO Rajiv Ramaswamy said yesterday, we are extending our leadership in database services with some exciting new capabilities in ERA. This includes seamless migration of databases onto the Nutanix platform with no complex reconfiguration. So it makes it really easy for customers to take their existing databases and move them to a modern hybrid multi-cloud platform. We also added support for one-click storage scaling with zero downtime. So customers can now resize their databases with no downtime whatsoever. Something that used to take weeks earlier can now be done with a single click. And we also have enhancements around security and resilience with support for things like uh, role-based access control, secure sh sharing of databases and database uh, management operations. And for resilience, we are adding support for multi-site error deployments so that customers can seamlessly fail over between sites for a, for a truly highly available database as a service solution. To tell us more about these new innovations in ERA, please welcome Jeremy Lonier, Senior Director of Product Management for ERA. Hi, Rajiv. Hey, Jeremy. So for customers who don't know what ERA is or who are new to ERA, tell us a little bit about what ERA does. Sure. ERA, first and foremost, is Database as a Service. We started a journey around three years ago to help simplify database management for our customers, whether they wanted to run them on-prem, in the cloud, or across clouds. And that meant really focusing on APIs first and creating a service pane uh, a single pane of glass where they could really uh, manage their databases with consistency, be able to control them, you at the same time have mobility of their data. So what kind of problems are we addressing for customers here? Yeah, great question. M many customers have problems with managing databases, particularly on-prem, and the challenges range from initial provisioning of databases for new use cases and new applications to managing existing databases that are already the back end for many business critical applications. And so, as you can imagine, there's a lot of administrative work that has to go with maintaining those databases. Backup recovery, patching, upgrades, scaling, data management, and the like. What about databases in the cloud? Can we help with that as well? I think we can. You know, databases in the cloud, for the most part, have already been significantly simplified with managed EBAS, but they still have challenges. There's challenges of data mobility across cloud providers, and there's also challenges around control. In many cases, um, you know, organizations, customers, they want to be able to get in and touch the OSs, make tweaks to the database software to optimize for their application stack, to probably have better interoperability with their applications, and those are the areas where we can make a big difference with ERA. Let's talk a little bit about the more recent innovations and how we can help customers with uh, some of the stuff you've done recently. Sure. In the last couple of releases, we've really focused on two key areas of innovation. The first of which is to extend our entire service area, service plane such that it can be deployed highly available across clouds and across, across regions. And the second key in area of innovation has really just been to double down on database depth, you know, the depth of database automation. And a great example of that is the work we did with Microsoft SQL Server to, um, to really support provisioning of highly available multi-site SQL Server always on deployments. That's great, and provisioning is uh, an important capability for ERA, of course. But what about day two uh, uh, issues that, that customers might run into, pains around scaling and uh, performance? <laughs> great question. You know, and this, this ultimately comes up in almost every customer deployment. At some stage, the database exceeds its original design. You know, um, they start to fill it up, and, and that's really what becomes critical to start to think about how do they scale the database, whether it's a scale-up database scenario or whether they need to scale it out. And I actually have a great demo to show you, a demo that's going to show, show you how we can very simply, as a one-click experience, scale out underlying database storage as, a, um, as, a one line, as an online experience with no downtime. In this demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to recover a large 5 terabyte highly available Postgres environment that is spanning both on-prem and the public cloud. In this example, I have a writable database on-prem, a synchronous read replica on-prem, and an asynchronous read replica in the cloud. Let's go to the console of the primary database and we'll run some commands to check and see the latest data that's been added to the database. And just notice the timestamp here. Now I'm going to make an admin mistake, and I'm going to accidentally delete that critical database data. You'll notice that the subsequent uh, query fails as a result. And because this is a highly available replicated database, 
this deleted data has been uh, wiped from primary as well as all the, the read replicas. So let's go back to ERA and I'll show you from ERA how we can quickly recover this data. So select the database in question and click on the restore link. This restore process can be kicked off from both the GUI console as well as from an API. And you'll also notice that we will capture any logs present on the storage of the DB instance. This allows us to minimize any data loss during the recovery. The time involved to capture any logs present on the system is usually in the order of minutes, but it does vary depending on the amount of logs and the speed of the storage. Once that's done, you can choose the specific time down to the second that you want to recover. And in this case, I'll recover to just before um, I accidentally wiped my data. Once you've started the process, you can click on this link and you can see an audit trail with a detailed task breakdown of the restore operation. And, and note here that we're recovering the data in a smart and space and time efficient way on both the primary as well as on the secondary replicas. But for the purposes of recovery, we really just care about the primary and getting more application online and connected to the database with the restored data as soon as possible. So that's done in less than 10 minutes. Let's click back to the console and we can take a look at the database with the recovered data. And as you can see here, the data has been recovered to just before I had wiped it. That was a great demo. What else can you show me? I have one more surprise for you. So um, another challenge that customers face is the challenge of their data. As their data sizes get larger and larger, and they shift from a couple of terabytes to tens, if not hundreds of terabytes, there's a big problem around how they can back those up uh, in a reasonable time frame and how they can recover in a more reasonable time frame. And so the demo I want to show you is how we can take a highly available, um, large five terabyte Postgres environment. It's running both on-prem and in the cloud, and how we can recover it quickly with minimal data loss. In this demo, I'll show you how easy it is to grow the storage capacity of highly available multi-cloud SQL Server environments. This database has less than 10% free disk. So let's go to it and let's add more capacity. This particular database is running both on-prem and in Amazon, and it's currently using 2.4 TB of space. We can grow the data and logs space independently, as well as insert custom scripts. Finally, you can model out this entire scaling operation in the GUI and translate that to the exact API call. In fact, we support this for all database operations in ERA, not just scaling. So let's grow the capacity by 500 GB, and then we will uh, we'll kick off the operation. You can track the status of the scaling from this audit trail, where you can see the exact activities. The important thing to, to, to note here is that scaling and growing storage for databases can be a complex endeavor, especially with best practices. Doing that for highly available databases that span multiple clouds can be incredibly complex. We're making that whole process simple in one click. In fact, as we apply and grow storage for the on-prem writable database and the read-only replica in Amazon, we are applying the exact same settings and configurations, both at the storage level, the OS level, and the database level so that all the best practices are followed. Looks like the scaling is complete. Um, it's worth noting this is an online operation, so there was no downtime as part of the scaling. And you can see we've now grown the capacity, um, uh, available capacity to three terabytes. Another great demo. I'm sure customers will appreciate the ability to recover their databases gracefully in the case of a human error or a, or a disaster. Now, in addition to all the capabilities we've introduced, we of course continue to work with our partners to deliver a best-in-class database as a service solution. So before I hand it off to Monica, let's hear from one of those partners, HCL. Hi, my name is Piyush Saxena, and I run hybrid cloud business for HCL. HCL Technologies is one of the world's top system integrators helping enterprises globally imagine their business for the digital age. We have been closely working with Nutanix since 2015 to bring to market best-in-class hybrid multi-cloud solution. The solution we are particularly excited about is the secure and cloud-ready ScaleDB service for enterprise databases. Powered by Nutanix Cloud Platform, 
and Nutanix era. Our customers automate management operations for databases like Oracle, SQL Server, SAP HANA with ScaleDB. Thanks to ERA, we are seeing clear benefits such as reducing database management time by up to 90%, eight times faster time to production, business uptimes of near 100% and over 60% lower total cost of ownership. We are excited to partner with Nutanix to bring the innovative ScaleDB service and the power of Nutanix to organizations across the globe.